Good day all. Um, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, log digitizing, but this time uh, we're gonna change it from uh, a picture form or ping or JPEG form and insert it to Petro. Uh, in the previous video, uh, I changed it from uh, a written form or numbers into Petro. Okay, so uh, for this. Uh, for this video, we're going to be using uh, Digger software and uh, Surfer software. Uh, first, we start with the uh, Digger software. We start with new and uh, go for raster digitizing. And then we search for our picture. This uh, this is well for in pink form. Click OK. So now we have our log. Uh, I'll be uh, digitizing the gamma ray log for this video. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to calibrate uh, the the log. We go to image, calibrate image. Okay, so this is the x axis. The x axis is the gamma ray, which is from zero until one fifty. The y axis is the depth. For RxO and RT, uh, we change it from linear, we change it to a logarithmic because it's a logarithmic log. But this time we're gonna stay with linear because we are doing the gamma ray. So just click next. So we have to calibrate four points. Okay. So the first point in the wall is it's at zero and at a depth of 5,700 meter. So we just click here and we change this. This stays zero. This becomes 5700. We add another point which is here. It has the same depth, but the reading is the maximum, which is 150. Then we go all the way down and we take the last reading which is around here okay so the same thing the, the, uh, the reading of the gamma ray of the x-axis is zero but the depth is around each box is 10 so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so this is around 58, so it's 6,508, we add another point, okay, it, it's for better calibration, it's better to be on the same plane, if you don't have a line here, you can uh, add a line and paint, beforehand so you get an accurate reading we just click here and the reading here is 150 and in the same depth then we click next you can see here is the the error percentage which is around six percent or 0.6 percent which is acceptable I click next so the calibration is done now now we need to digitize the the log okay so because this is a line not a circle it's a log so we choose polyline click OK 
and then one click and drag the mouse another click drag the mouse another click and keep going until the end of the load if we make a mistake we just click the backspace on our keyboard and it removes it let's say for the time of for the sake of time management that we finished our log we just click enter and now we have our log done so we go to file and then we export it let's call it the the gamma ray log we change the format into a golden software data and we click save okay <clears throat> then we go to our surfer software we go to a new worksheet and then we import so we import our gamma ray data from our digital software and we open it so here we see our depth and we have we see here our gamma ray reading so let's say at the beginning we have a gamma ray reading of 91 if we go back to the picture you can see that each box each column is 30 so this is 0 30 60 90 this is about 91 so everything works out it's better if you put the the depth column first then you put the reading so we just drag this and you just copy it and if you want to change the columns uh, you just paste it to Excel uh, if you don't want to do that you just copy and paste it into a text file so that uh, Petrel can read it and that's all. Thank you very much.